Okay, today we're going to be looking at multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. Now remember, if I'm times in 32 by 10, for instance, I don't want to see, we don't want to see things like this. 32 times 10 like that. Yes, we could do it like that, but actually that often leads to mistakes. So when we're times it by 10, 100, and 1,000, we are going to be thinking very carefully about place value. Now, if I'm struggling with this, the first thing I'm going to do for myself is I'm going to draw a place value grid. So I know I've got 32. So I need to start with ones and tens because I know I'm going to be going this way. My numbers are going to be getting larger. My digits are going to be getting larger. So I'm going to draw in a few more columns. I'm going to have my hundreds, thousands, and my ten thousands. And I'll put in my hundred thousands as well. So when I'm timesing by 10, remember that when you times by 10, the digits move one column to the left, they become 10 times bigger. 10 tens is the same as 100, so they move over here. So this digit three is going to become three hundreds. The digit two, two ones, is going to become two tens. And so now I need to put in that placeholder here to show that I've got no ones. So three, 32 times 10 is 320. If I want to times by 100, then I'm going to be moving two digits along. So one or two columns along, two. So I'm going from tens to thousands. I'm going from ones, one, two, to hundreds. So then I need a placeholder in the one, in the tens, and a placeholder in the ones, and I get 3,200. If I can spot the pattern, I'm going to move another column then, three columns. When I times by 1,000, so I'm going to get three ten thousands, two thousands, and then three placeholders here. So I get 32,000. And again, just remember, a really good way to remember how many columns you move is to look at the number of zeros. So when I times by 10, I move one column. I times by 100, two columns, 10 times 10, so two columns, and 1,000, I'm going to move three columns. So pause the video now, have a go, draw the place value grid if you need to, unpause when you're finished. Okay, so we're going to get 640, 6,400, and 64,000. And you can see as well, as I go from this one, to this one, to this one, my answer also gets 10 times bigger. And that's not surprising because 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000. So spotting those patterns as well. What about this one then? It's so very similar, but this time I've got a decimal number here. So again, I'm going to draw my place value grid. I know I'm going to be moving this way because I'm multiplying. So I'm going to put in my decimal point. Here's my tenths column, ones, and then let's have some tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Let's put in 3.2 times it by 10, moving one place column along. So I get three tens, two ones, which is 32. Times by 100, I need to move another column over. So two columns, I've gone one, two. So I've now got 300, two tens. So now I need a placeholder in the ones. And hopefully you can predict, so I'm going to get 3,200. Now if I move another column along to times by 1,000, my ones have gone to the thousands, my tenths have gone to the hundreds. And then I need a placeholder in the tens and the ones. Your turn again as you're going this time. See if you can spot the pattern. What's going on as I go through? Do I predict? Can I make a prediction of what's going to happen? See if I'm right. Pause the video. Come back when you're done. Okay, here we go. So we get 64, 640 and 6,400. And that's not very surprising if you think about it because I know that six times 10 is 60. So 6.4 will be 64. Six times 100 is 600. Six times 1,000 is 6,000. And then the next digit will still be that digit four. One final one, again, very similar. I'm not gonna spend quite so long on this one. I'll draw my place value grid. I've got my tenths now and some hundredths. I've got two hundredths. I've got my ones tens, hundreds, thousands. Well, if I times by 10, um, I know I'm going to move one column along. So I'm going to keep my placeholder there, keep my, uh, sorry, keep my decimal point in place. So I get 3.2 times 10 is 
times 100 I'm going to get then 32 and 320 will be times 1000. Pause the video, have a go at this, draw the bar, uh, the place value grid if you need to remember. And here we go, so we get 6.4, 64 and 640 and again just notice as I go down each time my answer is getting 10 times bigger because I'm timesing by another lot of 10. 100 is the uh, same as 10 times 10. 1000 is 10 times 10 times 10. Have a go now at your worksheet. Again, if you're stuck, please do draw these place value columns. Don't just guess. Really, really important that we think about what is going on mathematically.